search underway tonight for a man accused of kidnapping the mother of his child at gunpoint. Yeah, the victim was later found shot to death inside her own car, and now Pasadena police are asking for your help locating the suspect. Fox 26's Gabby Hart joins us live from Pasadena with the very latest details. Gabby? Yeah, you guys, police say that someone called 911 saying they saw a woman being dragged through an apartment complex and then stuffed into an SUV. Unfortunately, that woman would not survive. And October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Police saying that this serves as a stark reminder about just how serious issues of domestic violence are uh, within our communities. Go ahead and take a look at your screen. Uh, here's what we know so far. Police say that 38-year-old Myra Gutierrez is the woman who was found shot to death inside of her SUV. Her ex-boyfriend and father of the their five-month-old daughter, 30, uh, five-month-old daughter, 30-year-old Daniel Chacon, is the prime suspect here. Now, Pasadena police say that she had recently moved out of the apartment on Red Bluff Road in Pasadena. She was only there to visit her daughter, and that's when they say she was kidnapped. They also tell us that officers responded to this apartment for two separate domestic violence situations just in the month of September. In one of those cases, they say the victim claimed that Chacon pulled a gun and assaulted her. In both incidents, though, police say that Harris County's district attorney's office declined to file charges. She alleged during this assault that there was a firearm involved. Um, officers were diligent. They lawfully searched the apartment and no firearm was located um, to corroborate um, what she had said. Despite her telling the officers that she did not want to pursue charges, um, the officers contacted the Harris County district attorney's office about potential charges. Um, and they were declined at, at the time. These charging decisions by the DA's office have to be based on evidence. Yeah, now if anyone knows the whereabouts of that suspect, you are asked to pick up the phone, call police, or call Crime Stoppers if you'd like to remain anonymous. Meanwhile, Pasadena police say that they did try and connect that victim with domestic violence resources. They say they take domestic violence very seriously. If you even take a look behind us here, you can see that there are purple ribbons surrounding this entire police department. And remember, if anyone you know is a victim or dealing with domestic violence, there is help, there are resources available, and we'll have those resources listed on our website site, fox26houston.com. For now, I'm live in Pasadena. Gabby Hart, Fox 26 News.